First tonight, the push to vaccinate continues amid a spring surge in COVID cases. Michigan is one of only five states contributing to nearly half of all new infections in the past week. That data coming as the president announces that all adults will be eligible for the vaccine nationwide. Aaron Parsegian will have that and the latest Michigan numbers in just a moment. Hey, but first, new data from the state health department showing the vaccines are very effective against the virus, but not foolproof. Angeline McCall joining us live in Grand Rapids after speaking with the doctor about that tonight. Angeline. Uh, Derek Janice, of the millions of people ha who have become fully vaccinated here in Michigan, roughly 250 people have become sick with COVID-19 since their final dose. And unfortunately, three people have died. MDHHS says all of those people were 14 days or more from that final dose. But even so, doctors say that these are relatively small numbers in the bigger picture. Vaccine efficacy really is about reducing risk. And so uh, everything has some risk and, and nothing takes away all risk. And, and the vaccines have been really, really effective at dramatically lowering the risk that somebody would become seriously ill with COVID. Dr. Lane Davies with Bronson Health reiterating that even the most effective vaccine still has a 5% chance to result in illness, but those cases still remain unlikely in the grand scheme of things. We, we know people who, or you hear about people who have been hit by lightning or been in terrible car crashes, but we, we can't live our lives based on, on those outliers. MDHHS says the 246 positive cases and the three deaths account for just 0.0001% of those vaccinated here in Michigan. So it would really encourage um, people to look at the data from that perspective. Um, and, and I think that the data is really overwhelming that, that the, the benefits of receiving the vaccine are far far, far greater than, than any risk. At this time, Bronson Health has admitted three fully vaccinated patients to the hospital. All three were in for different medical reasons and learned they were subsequently positive, but were not admitted to the ICU for the virus, reinforcing that in the large majority of cases, the vaccine is doing its job. I think the, the study that was, or the data that was released by MDHHS today validates and reinforces that, that um, that the vaccine is highly effective at, at, at preventing illness, preventing serious illness, and preventing death. MDHHS says that all three of the people who did die were over the ages of 65. Now they say that they are also investigating these deaths to learn if there were any other contributing factors besides COVID-19. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Anton McCall, Fox 17 News.